Hello and welcome to the 11th session of introduction to image processing using MATLAB. Today we will talk about low pass filters. The low pass filters block high frequency content of the image and allow the low frequency to pass through it. Since the high frequency content corresponds to the boundaries of the objects, hence they blur the images. They can be used for noise removal which can be modeled as impulses or the salt and pepper noise or the continuously varying noise such as the Gaussian noise. They can be used by taking the mean or the median values. So we will look uh, at the averaging filter which is basically taking the mean values of a 3 cross 3 and this is a weighted kind of a filter wherein we are assigning the 4 weight to the center pixel, 2 to the 4 neighbors and 1 to the rest of the 8 neighbors. The median filter can be applied using um, built-in filter commands for on, in MATLAB. Now we will just look at these practically using MATLAB. So I just start by reading the image cameraman. I can now create a filter say f is equal to I can create an array of numbers the size of the array can be 3 by 3 so I have basically the f has 1 by 9 1 by 9 for all the 3 cross 3 values this can be applied as a filter so I can say i1 is equal to and I apply the filter to apply the built-in filter I just use the built-in functional filter to specify the filter I want to use so I want to use the filter f which I have created on the image i and then I have to tell the shape there are three options here say same valid and full in case of same the padding by 0 is done and the output is the same as the input so I can say I am sure I1 divided by 255 and this is my image I can also see the original image using I am sure I so that was my original image so you can see it's kind of blurring the image now I can use the built-in functions also so I can maybe define another filter F1 use the command F special <coughs> if I specify the average filter here and give the dimensions as 3 comma 3 this should give me the same value as before because that was the one which we had created so I'll use this value I'll put in I2 here so my I2 is getting filter 2 I'll use F1 apply the filter and I should get the same image I2 divided by 255 so you can see <coughs> these two images are same and this was my original image now I could have also said valid so the zero padding will not be done and the image will be smaller than before is smaller <coughs> if I use the option full then the image is larger than before I can create another filter F3 and I can say it's special maybe an average filter again average filter and the size can be 11 by 11 so I just specify 11 it will automatically take a win window size or the kernel size is 11 by 11 now when I apply this on the image so I'll say i3 is equal to filter to I'll apply f3 on image i and same size now let's see how it looks like so you can see it's pretty blurred so the window size increases the blurring also increases so this brings us to the end of this lecture see you in the next thank you